we really need to talk about how long it takes for you to make meatballs from scratch because absolutely not, never again. I mean it. Besties, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, girl, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stay. Y'all, we are in month two of 2022 and you better be sticking to those fitness goals, girl. Yes, I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. I know we're not tired and falling off of our health and fitness plans that we had this year. Get it together. You already know what's going on here. Another week, another meal prep. And in today's meal prep, I'm going to feature three recipes of breakfast, lunch, and dinner for somebody who has a busy lifestyle like me. So if you work a nine to five, you work the night shift, you work crazy hours, this is the meal prep for you, except for making meatballs from scratch. We really need to talk about how long it takes for you to make meatballs from scratch because absolutely not, never again. I mean it. I straight played myself when I made these meatballs. It's not the role that takes a long time it's like the actual cooking but I'm gonna give you a little hack because your girl didn't fry them on the stove I threw them in the air fryer I mean you could definitely make them from scratch but I definitely recommend you listening to the little tip that I used today to make my meatballs because baby never again if you don't have an air fryer this is your sign this is it take out your pen pad take out your phone go to Amazon and find an air fryer I will link the one that I have down in the description box below she literally turned a two-hour process into a 25 minute process so there you go, there's my tip. Either buy the meatballs frozen or get an air fryer. So for breakfast, we're making some quick and easy protein overnight oats. For lunch, we're gonna have a Southwestern salad with chicken. And then for dinner, we're gonna be having some protein pasta with red sauce and turkey meatballs. You'll notice in this meal prep that I'm really making sure that I hit protein heavy in all of my meals because you know for me, my fitness goal this year is to lose fat while building muscle at the same time. So I'm basically going under body recomposition. That's my goal. If your goal is to get lean, you could probably pull back a little bit from the protein so you could probably swap out the protein powder and your oats for just like regular flavorings just like cinnamon or something like that but I'm trying to get protein in every single meal so you'll see my pasta has protein the turkey meatballs is obviously protein there's a ton of chicken that's gonna be in the salads and then also the protein powder and the oats also I just wanted to say this before we get into the meal prep a lot of you guys have been putting me onto a lot of great recipes that you guys absolutely love and I really appreciate it because you know your girl loves suggestions in saying that since there's 52 weeks in a year I think 52 I teach math 52 Let's go with it. 52 weeks in a year, that means I'm probably gonna have about 52 meal prep videos or what I eat in day videos coming soon where I feature recipes because y'all recipes be sounding really, really good. I love being a creature of habit because I really don't get sick of meals. It also makes meal prepping a lot easier, but I am looking forward to trying a lot of the dishes that you guys have been posting down below in the comment section. So thank you guys for posting those and sharing your ideas with me. I'm literally loving it here. I'm also loving talking to you guys. You guys are literally amazing. Like for real, for real, OG besties. Like we are besties forever, for lifers. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna stop talking so we can head into the meal prep. All right, so let's jump in.
everyone so i'm getting ready to assemble my turkey meatball so i've got two pounds of ground turkey i found some mushrooms in my fridge that i didn't want to go bad so i chopped them up really really fine so that you wouldn't be able to detect them but i'm just adding some extra veggies in there sneaking them in where i can i have some white onion over here i have some olive oil and then these are the spices i'm going to be using just my basic spices so i have my chopped onions garlic powder crushed red pepper salt and then a little bit of oregano so i'm just going to add everything in here i might add a little bit of egg white i'm not sure if that's really gonna bind it but i don't have any whole eggs so i'm gonna try the egg white if it needs it if it doesn't need it then i won't add it but i'll definitely be sure to let you guys know you guys will be able to see it if i add it in there so this is everything that i have i don't know i'm gonna let you guys know about this chopped mushrooms i feel like people use mushrooms as a meat substitute anyway because mushrooms kind of mimic the texture of actual meat so i'll let you know how it goes but i just thought it would be a good way to not waste food and to sneak in some extra veggies where i can so let's assemble today's meal prep listen if you're trying to get in more protein in your diet it's so important to find foods that have high protein content so the protein pasta i don't even know why i was craving pasta because naturally i don't even like pasta but when i discovered protein pasta i was like oh yes lord let me get my hands on it also i just wanted to give you guys an update because i did film the actual meal prep video two days ago and that's just my outro but i just wanted to share with you that you can't even detect the chopped mushrooms in the meatballs they're actually really really good if anything it just made them really moist so if you're looking for a way to sneak in your vegetables definitely add them to your meatballs also, I tried sneaking in extra vegetables with the sauce. You obviously don't have to doctor up the sauce, but you know what? You gotta put a little razzle dazzle on the sauce. You can't just eat the sauce out the jar. I'm sorry. Like, I, it's just not for me. If that's for you, you got that. But I needed to do something. So I added a little bit of spice, a little bit of extra vegetables, and she is exquisite. A delicacy, if you will. If you enjoyed today's meal prep and you wanna see more of these, definitely give me a thumbs up. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share not me counting. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share because you know we're trying to grow the message, grow the family, and obviously bring everybody on board because we hitting those fitness goals this year. Listen, we are gonna be snatched. I don't know about you, but I'll be snatched. Please be sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every single time your girl posts a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next. Mm -hmm.